Hey there, my tech friends. Today we're diving into something super important for anyone using GPT. How to clear your GPT memory? Why should you do it? And what happens when you don't? It's more like spring cleaning. Welcome back. This is Bhavani Kola. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So first, let's get clear on what we mean by memory when we're talking about GPT. Right now, ChatGPT doesn't have memory in the same sense as you and I do, but ChatGPT is designed to remember information across different sessions like your preferences, frequently asked questions. Sounds convenient, right? However, if that memory isn't managed well, it can lead to clutter, confusion, or even misfire in what GPT remembers. Now let's talk about the benefits of a regular cleaning memory. First off, accuracy. Over time, stored memory can get a little messy and may cause GPT to make incorrect assumptions. This might remember things that are no longer relevant or misinterpret your intent based on outdated information. Next, privacy. Regular cleaning memory helps protect your personal data. Well, I can't promise or I can't really say if GPT is built with solid privacy standards, but it's always a good idea to clean out old information that's no longer needed. And finally, performance. Just like your computer, when AI tools hold too much unnecessary data, they can slow down or become less efficient. Think of it like closing all those extra browser tabs you've got open. So how to clean your memory or how to clear your memory? Right now, I'm on my GPT interface. All you have to do is click on your profile picture, click on your settings, Scroll all the way down to your personalization, which is right here. And here you have an option to turn on or off the memory. Based on the work that you do, it's totally up to you if you want to turn this on or off. I try to keep it on, but it's my regular habit to clean the memory as well. So this is on right now and you have an option to clear GPT memory. But if you want to go ahead and take a look and see what GPT remembers about you, all you have to do is click on manage and here you have all the information that GPT remembers when it's answering. And if there's something that you want to keep and clean up right here, you can do that. You can simply delete information and click forget, delete, forget, or you can simply click on clear chat GPT memory. I'm going to click on clear and everything gets cleared right away. Okay, so what's the downside? Are there any cons to cleaning GPT memory regularly? Absolutely. One of the major drawbacks is losing that personalization. If AI forgets everything after each session, you'll have to start from scratch every time. No more, hey, GPT, do you remember that I love bullet points? That's not going to happen. Another downside is extra time spent reestablishing that content. Instead of picking up from where you left off, you'll need to remind it of your previous conversations, preferences, or tasks every time. But not to worry, and that's why we have our custom instructions. So when you click on your custom instructions, you can tell GPT how you want to answer, how you like it to respond, bullet points, no bullet points, no extra information, keep it simple, keep it neutral, browse websites, use Dolly, we can do a whole other session about custom GPTs, but for now, you always have that extra GPT, custom GPT option to go ahead and customize what you need. Now that's confusing, right? Because I did tell you the pros and did tell you the cons. Now you might be asking, Bhavani, what do we do? Do we clean or we don't? So how often should you be doing this so-called GPT spring cleaning? It really depends on how you use it. If it's for casual questions, Clearing memory after every session probably is overkill, but if you're working with sensitive data or long projects, a regular memory wipe might be a good idea. To sum it all up, cleaning GPT's memory can keep your interactions accurate, safeguard your privacy, and maintain that performance level. But remember, you might lose a bit of personalization in the process. It's all about finding that right balance. Well, life is all about finding balance, isn't it? 
Before you head out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with someone who could use the GPT spring cleaning in their life. Let me know in the comments, do you prefer GPT to remember things or you start fresh every time? Thanks for watching. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.